Now, some people have asked me, well, how about the trust? Could the trust be the plaintiff? I do believe that since it's legally, in Massachusetts, I've gone to the probate courts there, they've accepted this and, and blessed this vehicle. I've done it now a half a dozen times in Middlesex and Essex County. The probate courts uh, like this vehicle very, very much. Um, and I believe that uh, it, since it's legally recognized trust, that I believe it can be a plaintiff. It doesn't have to be, though. It doesn't have to affect or change any of our, whatever we think as lawyers is the best strategy to file an individual complaint, uh, some named people in a class action. It doesn't uh, interfere with that decision making. It's there to complement that decision making. And it might be that we decide strategically, hey, we're going to file it as a trust, name all the beneficiaries, but it's going to be the trust that's going to be the, the primary plaintiff. And we'll play that one out, whether the you know, it survives a motion to dismiss for that party, you know, lack of standing, whatever. I don't mind that one. So we can make a strategic decision about that, but it doesn't interfere. Also think of it as a wonderful uh, settlement vehicle because many times in group situations, um, the, uh, they want peace. And the problem is, is that how do you give them peace? Well, we have the class action vehicle, but what the trust does is it works with that class action vehicle. First of all, it's a, a vacuum cleaner that brings everybody together so that you're naming real people, and as a trial lawyer, uh, I really like people, and I really don't like having nameless, faceless clients. I feel more comfortable representing human beings, not concepts. But you can couple this ability to bring in named people and make them real with uh, a class action settlement, which then uh, feeds into the trust. So that for those who have not joined the trust, you have a legal vehicle, uh, an umbrella over over the uh, trust so that when people do become real, they can join the trust and become named. Unnamed, we take care of the settlement, but then they can come in and be named and take part uh, with their beneficiary rights.